Welcome back to your live continuing coverage of the New York International Auto Show on Be Terrific, an official media partner. We're so proud of that. You're looking at a live look of the Mercedes booth on the floor here at the Jacob K. Javits Center. This is the C63 Cabriolet in matte white finish. That means there's no clear coat, and it's just a stunning automobile. Now, the C63 is an AMG Mercedes, and Bart's here to tell us a little bit more about it. This is the highest performance you can get for each car when you tune it with AMG. And I love, love, love Mercedes, and I love AMG. I love the aerodynamic packages, and then, of course, the performance is added. Thank you for joining us. Right, absolutely. This car is all about performance, but obviously it has that extra measure of style because it's, it's a cabriolet. Yeah. And it's the world's first, it's really the first time we've ever done a C-Class cabriolet. And to bring that here to New York as a world premiere as the C63, 503 horsepower coming out of its four liter V8 by turbo engine, zero to 60 in four seconds. Four seconds. It's exactly, yeah, top speed, 174 miles per hour. Wow. It's really an impressive car. It, it's a very impressive car. This is something you can bring the family around in. It's a cabrio, so you have right. the, the drop top. And um, it's, it's, a, it's, it's an AMG and a bi-turbo V8, and you squeeze that into a C-Class. Yeah, it's really impressive. And, and the way this engine is, it's our newest four-liter engine. It's actually derived from the Mercedes AMG GT. So it's really, if you can say, the engine is like a, it's almost a cousin from that car. So it's, the, it's what we call the hot V setup. So it's a four-liter V8 engine, and the turbos actually reside inside the V. So wow. it conventionally, you know, they're usually sure. flanking the V. So it, it's faster spool up time, quicker throttle response, really gives us a great response that we want for this car. Look at that beautiful leather, the quilting and everything. The fit and finish is second to none, but it's really to me about the performance. You, of course, you've got all the Mercedes safety features and you've got the nav and all, all the technology that you want in the car. But to me, it's about the performance. What are we talking about on, on wheel size? Yeah, well, so we'll have 19s and 20s on this car, wow. so you have some different options. Uh, this is actually our edition one, or our first uh, launch edition, if you will. Um, and so the black wheels, the white paint with the special interior, as you mentioned, the quilting. This also has the racing or AMG performance seats. Uh, so essentially a seat that you could really be out on the track and it has an accommodation for a five-point harness. I kind of noticed that, yeah, by the way. And yeah. I imagine there, there may be, maybe the backs are carbon fiber. They're a little bit lighter, possibly. You, you could, yeah, the, the seat is definitely lighter. Uh, it's actually a seat made by Recaro for okay. Mercedes-Benz. Uh, and it is a, it's our high-performance uh, seat. So it's really something really that sets this car off, makes it special. I, I like the carbon fiber in the dash and everything. The steering wheel looks nice. Right. And, and uh, when we talk about, uh, when we go back to talking about performance for a second, mm -hmm. um, what about braking? Are there cross-drilled rotors? Yeah, we'll have cross-drilled. We'll also have the capability for having carbon brakes. Uh, so that's an option wow. as well. But even the, let's call it the standard braking system is extremely high performance, four piston calipers, um, and cross-drilled, slotted, um, and also uh, ventilated disc wow. brakes all the way around. If, so you, if you're going to take it to the track, you're going to want to do the carbon fiber. I brakes. think the carbon is a nice yeah. option for the track because yeah. really, the, as far as fade resistance, you can't beat the carbon system. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, the car's beautiful. Uh, what do we do for downforce? I mean, it seems like that's got a, a lot, a lot yes. of, 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 of power and torque. And right. You, no, no, you need something right. for downforce. You, you, the aerodynamics package has been tuned on the Nürburgring, you can, you can be assured. So that means the front air dam is, yeah. is tuned just to keep it keep the car from lifting. Uh, you have the side uh, side skirts as well, really keeping that car close to the ground, and additional downforce also at the rear with through the bumper design, and a rear diffuser just to get that air from under the car out. So really keeping it closer to the road the faster you're going. And you don't even have to have a huge spoiler. You right, can do it through right. all this if diffusion. You, if you really design it the right way, uh, you can do a lot of neat tricks. There's underbody paneling that you don't even see that are channeling air, You know, because you can use that air. You can use it to cool the, radi you know, cool the engine, cool the brakes, but also pull the car closer to the ground. You know what I've always liked about AMG? is that they're beautiful versions of Mercedes cars, but you're able to take a car that is a normal car and, and modify it, and, and Mercedes does that, you know, right, with their AMG right. brand, and, which used to be its own company and sure. was brought under the, the umbrella. But what I love about it is that they're kind of sleeper cars, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't know about AMG, it's just a regular C-Class that looks a little bit nicer. Right, right. Um, and if you do know about AMG, then you're in the know, and, and it's, it's tremendous. Um, and so anybody can drive it too. Uh, you know, mom can drive it, and then dad can have fun with it. Right, right. Uh, which is which is awesome. Uh, talk about um, the the setup on the car for the engine, because I believe that the engine is is made specifically for this vehicle. And if we're going to go to another vehicle that's an AMG vehicle, we right. will have a separate engine that was designed for that vehicle. Right. It's really interesting. So what we do with our AMG, our sixty three engines, is we we have a program what we call one man one engine. Mm -hmm. So the way this engine is built, it starts life in the factory one single technician 
builds the complete engine wow. from start to finish. So it's really an interesting process. And if, if you're you know, in a Falterbach, which is in, in Germany where we build these engines, one technician starts the engine from the beginning, does all the pressure testing, does the break-in testing, everything. And once they're done with this, they have a signature plaque that sits atop the engine with their signature saying this engine was handcrafted by this particular technician. So it's really something that we love because that technician really takes ownership of that engine, and, and we really see the great results of having a handcrafted engine for each of these cars. That's amazing, and I imagine that uh that it must be unbelievable to be that technician and to get, that's like prestigious sure, and it's sure. hard to get. These are our top-notch technicians. Uh, both, there's both men and women who are building these engines. What's the and program like to, to become it, It's part really of interesting. It. They start as an apprentice yeah. uh, and you start as an apprentice building different, uh, 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 let's say, sub-pieces of, the, of, the, of, the, uh, of all the pieces that are coming together. You're building different components maybe of the car and you really work your way up to being an engine builder. So it's the top of the, really the top of the heap in terms of those the skills that you need to, to make that engine. And then you have to work through being an engine builder to get to be the exactly, AMG to, engine to be the AMG yeah. engine builder. Now, what about the design? Does the design on the AMG car start when the cars are actually being designed? Do they work with the designers and say, well, we need you to tweak this on the regular car so that we'll be able to do this on the AMG version, or does it all happen after the fact? That's a great question, and, and, and now that we're, and we have been for years, fully integrated with AMG, we start from the drawing board, and you know that, let's say, an E-Class or a C-Class, for example, uh, will have have to be accommodating, a, you know, this maybe a fall, small four-cylinder diesel engine, sure. all the way up to a bi-turbo V8, because so it's integrated into the very beginning. So the DNA of the vehicle possesses the capabilities to go from, let's say, you know, a 115 kilowatt diesel engine all the way to a five or 600 horsepower E-Class. Awesome. Do, do they ever start with the AMG? Like, here's the drawing of the AMG, and go backwards and, and start taking body panels apart. Well, off? What I can tell you is as soon as the, the main design is approved, the AMG guys are already integrated in there because they really need to be because you have to think about the wheel tire and wheel size is different, you know, fitting a V8 engine under the hood. So really at the drawing board, we're already involved with AMG. And you can get an AMG in basically every one of the different cars. Just about, yeah, yeah just about. All right, so what are we going to look at next? I love yeah. Mercedes. What yeah. great yeah. vehicles. There's I, To me, there's nothing like driving a Mercedes. Well, I love that you have a complete range, so it doesn't right. matter if you want the entry point of a C-Class or you want to go all the way up. And, of course, sure. Smart is, is part of Mercedes. Yeah, we have Smart so. there as well, and we have Mercedes Maybach at the top of the range as well on the luxury okay. side. But I think what we're going to look at next is uh, another world premiere we have here at the show, the GLC Coupe. Yeah. So we launched the GLC just uh, just not that long ago, a few months ago, the GLC SUV, and now we're bringing that in what we call a coupe format. And what this does, it's really great because it combines, in a way, the best of both worlds. We found a lot of people want a more emotionally designed car, which, you know, maybe in the old days they would always buy a two-door coupe or something like that. But today people want that beautiful design, but also the functionality of an SUV. So this is that perfect combination because you'll see this really sporty roof line uh, that looks like, it makes it look just like a coupe, really broad shoulders at the back, short greenhouse, really great lines. So it makes it look very sporty, but at the same time, you don't really give up any functionality from an SUV perspective. How about visibility? It's actually quite good. And you know, on top of that, we've got both either a rear view camera, which is standard on this car, sure. or we have what we call our surround view cameras, which will actually give a complete view surrounding the vehicle, almost an, as if you're looking from overhead, using four cameras, one in the front, one in each of the mirrors, and then one at the rear of the car. I love, I love this car, I love how beautiful it is, and I love the debuts, because I think that um, it's really nice uh, that at the New York International Auto Show, there are always so many debuts. I mean, it's New York, it should be sure, that way. But sure. I think that that's what the New York International Auto Show is known for, and I'm right. glad that Mercedes chooses to you know, debut cars here. I think yeah. that's awesome. And uh, uh, go ahead. No, and it goes all the way back to our history. You can go back to 1954 when we debuted the 300 SL here. Um, and we've, That's you know, my we've, uh, favorite car Yeah, ever. hey, and, and it's, it, it is really automotive art in a yeah. way. And, uh, and it's so great to be here with you know, five world debuts. We, all, we feel the same way. This is such an important show. The New York tri-state area is such an important market for us. And you know, we'll, uh, you know, we'll continue that uh, with a vengeance. Uh, I, I think you should. I love that. Um, what uh, what else do we have to look? Oh, this is the interior, by the yeah, way. Yeah, I think we the have GLC the interior coupe. of the Tell, GLC. Walk me walk me through this. Well, it's you know it's really a great design. It's it's uh, based on the C class family of cars. So this is what you would call maybe a midsize SUV, mm -hmm. and it enjoys that same interior, beautiful flowing dashboard that runs right down almost a waterfall design from the center of the dash into the center console. 
And as you can see that just inside, very sporty look to this car, because what we've done is with the GLC Coupe, we have given it a sportier feel on the inside versus the GLC SUV. They do have different, clearly different personalities. But it, and you notice that when you get in the car, and this is one of our special versions, you'll notice the diamond quilted stitching on the seats. Sure. This two-tone interior, which is our Designio uh, program, sure. uh, which is our really exclusive program that gives you all these really nice touches. The nice thing is that you guys have always made amazing leather. It's always been something special and something different. You could almost tell the car just from the mm -hmm. leather. Back in the 80s, it was always perforated. Now you've got right. quilted. But I mean, these cars are almost bespoke at this point. You can customize them to be how you want. Th there is quite a nice pro uh, customization program. When we see more people, that's what they want. It's, you know, you see your car, but you want just something a little different that makes it yours. Sure. I, I, before we go to the next car, uh, I have a question for you on, on the G the G Wagon. Yeah, sure. Uh, can we can we never stop producing that car, please? It's it, That's our goal. Yeah, and, good. And, uh, you know, we've been making it a long time. It really is such a brand statement for Mercedes-Benz. And it drives so well for such a, it's a truck, well, yeah, but it drives so Considering its well. capabilities, it does quite good on the road. And it's so luxurious inside. Yeah. I have a question. The biggest knock on the car from people who buy it and from the Terrifics who right. will watch, we have a, a vast audience. They, yeah. They're awesome. High Terrifics, right? <laughs> um, and they love this car too. The biggest knock is it only has one cup holder, which is like a, a, a kind of a weird like basketball hoop. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is right. it possible that in the future we might see two real cup holders? And uh, I have this idea that you could just move the little shifter yeah. uh, to the stock like you've done with a lot of yeah. other vehicles and put one of those retractable ones, or doubles that you had in E-classes right, years ago. Right, right. I think you'll see some of those types of things. Just yeah, maybe be, a, be patient. Yeah. Uh, but we are, obviously, all of our cars, we're always improving. But uh, but we are looking forward to already, you know, maybe some, some let's say, the, the next generation of the G-class. And, is and is that going to be 2017, maybe? It's still a little further out okay. on the time horizon. Because I know somebody um, who has a 2014 who would buy, I, I promise you, would buy yeah. the new one just for the cup holders. Just How crazy holders. is that? Well, I can tell you we'll have some really cool things, let's say maybe end of this year, early next year, oh, wow. uh, to talk about on the g -class. We should do something on Be Terrific about that yeah, when, hey, when it's, when it's ready fun. to talk about it. It'd be, be great. Fun. You could either Skype or come in studio, or we could okay. come to you guys and take a drive. It sounds it, like a lot of fun. It's a phenomenal car, and I love the AMG package on that oh, car. It's, it's uh, really something. And you have a lot of fun colors with it as well now. Oh, like yes. Bright yeah. orange and all sorts orange, of Orange, lime green, purple, red, you name it, we can do a lot. We have a lot of flexibility uh, on our G-Class. It's, it's really an awesome vehicle. Okay, so what's the next car we're going to Yeah, I think last car we're, uh, we have on the stage here and as a, as a debut is the, uh, is the Mercedes E-Class. Mm -hmm. uh, we debut the E-Class in Detroit, so the car we actually have here is the E43 AMG. So this is a really great car. It sits atop the E300. Yeah. Uh, so we had the E300 already. The E43 is our first performance model from AMG. So this is a new, uh, a new really, let's say, a new realm for what we're calling AMG. Because used to be you had basically the series model, and then you had, let's say, the top of the line fire-breathing V8. So what we have here is a bi-turbo six-cylinder engine, 396 horsepower, um, outstanding performance, and sits really in between that level. So what we found is that there's a lot of customers that really maybe wanted an AMG vehicle, but maybe that was just a little bit too far, too big of a step. Sure. Um, so what we've done is we've brought this based on a V6 engine, but it really, everything that AMG typically touches, we've also touched in this car. So it's upgraded brakes. It's based on the AMG ride control, aromatic suspension, uh, all of the really beautiful things on the inside, red stitching. leather with the red, red stitching, stitching and the Alcantara. Uh, so it's really nice, flat bottom steering wheel, super sporty and great performance also with formatic all wheel drive. So, and what we have with this car is a unique four wheel drive system that is more rearward biased. So compared to the, the split that we'll have on a normal E-Class, we have a much more rearward bias on the, on the split for this car to really make it a little bit more of a performance car feel. And uh, and I think uh, I think we'll get some great results. Out I of love it. it. I I, I want to drive it home. I, I think the E class is the staple. It's 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 the perfect yeah. car for most people, and it's a great family car. So to have an E forty three and and especially those red seatbelts too. Yeah, I love yeah. those. It's really but sporty. It, it's just beautiful. I love. Oh, well, that. thank you. Yeah. I mean, it's an exciting car, and we're looking forward to uh, to getting that one out on the market. Should be here uh, probably late this year or early two thousand seventeen. Well, it's it's phenomenal. Thank you for taking some time with us. You have a ton My of pleasure. beautiful vehicles yeah. every one of them is more gorgeous than the next well thank and, you very uh, much I just really appreciate your hey, time and, and it, it's our off. pleasure thank you thank very you. much uh, we'll take a quick break and we'll be back with a whole lot more of your live continuing coverage of the New York International Auto Show 2016 on be terrific I'm Michael Artsis stay with us <laughs> 